So here's something that we discovered. These screws that came with it don't work for my camper. <laughs> Hey, thanks again for joining us. This is Rod from Two Black Campers. If you was with us last time, you know I took the fan out of this camper here. If you haven't seen that video, click on it right here above. But in this video, I told you we had a surprise and we got a Max fan to put in this thing. The reason why we decided to go to the Max Fan Deluxe here is for several reasons. For one, in an earlier video, which I'll put a link to, the quality of the one that actually came in here when I started to look, research it and try to figure out how to replace it, it really wasn't up to par. So I figured if I'm gonna take it out, I might as well go ahead and put in one that's worth buying. So I'll put the specs up here at the top, but some of the main things, the main reason why we wanted to go with this one was that it has a rain shield on it. So it doesn't necessarily have a rain sensor, but you can run this thing while, it, while it's open, okay? So you can have it open, you can drive down the street with it, those kind of things. Also, the Max Fan brand, I know is a really reliable brand. Um, and then it actually looks pretty cool. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the box and hey, let's get started. This is everything that came in the actual pack for the Max Fan. You have this, uh, I don't know what you call this thing, but you have one of these. I know what it's for, but you have this. You have the actual fan wires over there. You got the uh, part that goes on the top, your hardware. Um, now this right here is a uh, butyl tape. So um, we have that. You got your lap sealant, the self-leveling lap sealant with that guy's face on it. It's about the only one that I've ever seen, but you got that. These are the tools that I assume that we need and hopefully this is all that we need. So this is everything that comes in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and put everything together. At this part of the directions, it actually says to go in and put this top piece into the hole but it says before putting it in there make sure there we go make sure that these metal clips are facing on the side because i guess the you know the the fan is actually going to go front to back and this is how it clips on there whereas if you do it this way then now it'll be going this going sideways so that'll be bad so we want to actually put the clips on the side and at this point it says to put the clips on the side Put it in here and trace it so you'll know where to put your your butyl tape and put your sealant down so my wife is is here as well so she's going to trace on this side we had to use a marker um, because a pencil wouldn't work we figure nobody's going to see this i'm gonna cover it with lap sealant as, as well so it should be okay so let me go through and trace it Okay, so now I'm gonna take it out. I can see what I've traced it, and we're gonna go through and put the sealant down. This is where the uh, butyl tape comes in. So we're actually, we went through and actually pre-cut the, the length of it to the circle that we put down. And we're gonna put this on, stick it all the way around. I decided to actually go with uh, two levels or two layers rather, um, not stack them on top of each other, but just put them right next to each other because it's kind of thin. So everything that I've looked at, it says that if you, if it squishes out, we'll just take a, a razor blade and just trim it, you know, after we put it down. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. Okay, so now that's done. The next step says to put the top piece on. Remember, put those clips to the side and then screw it in. Um, it's gonna squish out some of the stuff. If you notice when we put it down, it actually 
Man, this stuff is extremely stretchy, so it, it's stretched out. Even though I we pre cut it, um, it just stretched out. So I'm not really too much concerned about it because we're gonna screw it down anyway. And once we screw it down, it's gonna squish out. So everything that I've looked at now, it doesn't come in the directions, but everyone that I've seen do it online and stuff, they've always trimmed it off. So we're gonna do that anyway. So I really didn't worry about it going over. So now we're gonna put the top piece on and start putting the screws in. So just taking this, pushing it down by hand. And now we're gonna get these screws and screw them in to the top of the camper. So the screws that actually come in the pack, there's two different types of screws. So you have this rounded head screw here and then the other one, which I, I left down at the bottom uh, is a white flat one. So the rounded one is gonna go at the top, the white one is gonna go on the inside trim. Um, if you get confused, there's like one, two, three, four, five. So there's roughly like 18 to 20 of these and there's only four of the other ones. So that's one easy way to know that this one goes on the top. So if my, if my beautiful assistant can let the uh, camera down here, then I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing this thing in. So here's something that we've discovered. These screws that came with it don't work for my camper. So um, I, when I put the first screw in there, um, I noticed that it raised up. You may have seen that as well, I'm not sure. But once it raised up, I got ready to start. And I was like, wait, that, that didn't feel right. So I went back and looked at it. These are just regular, uh, I don't know, wood screws or something like that. And um, you can pan down here, you can see on the inside of our camper, it has a metal, actually a metal lip, a metal frame in here. So those screws were not gonna go in there. So it just raised up on top of it. So I actually kept the ones that came in it in the, in the fan that was in there. And these are self-tapping screws. So luckily I have enough of these. So I'm gonna just use these back in, in the uh, metal frame that we have and screw these all around. So, hey, um, just a new thing that we figured out, man. You know, uh, the one that it came with, it didn't work. So these work, so DIY at it its best. Hey guys, this is Adrian from Two Black Camper. So. I'm not the most handy person in the world, but today I'm helping my husband out and putting in this fan. And so it was a little tricky with the nails. Um, that was a little touch and go, but we figured it out and now it seems pretty secure. So at this point, we're going to cut off the, dang it, I forget what it's called. Butyl tape, it's called butyl tape. Got that right that time. Now we're gonna take our knives and cut off the excess, basically just trim around it. And at that point, we'll be actually ready to wire it and put the top on. Now that we've finished the top of it, we're gonna go ahead and, and work on these wires. So these are the wires that actually come in in the camper that we have. There's a yellow and white one, and then there's a white one. So the old fan that was in here had a white wire and a red wire. So I'm making an educated guess here that the red wire is gonna be positive and the white one's not. So in the directions for the Max fan, it just said to uh, make sure that the black wire is connected to the positive. So I'm gonna put the black wire back on this yellow one and it also has a, a, a white wire as, as well. So I'm gonna put that there. It has, it actually came with these uh, quick connect uh, clips, you know, that, um, that, that you put on one side and it's just a male and female part and they actually go right into each other like that for the Max fan. I actually really like that because that's not what, it, what the old fan had. It just had the old clamp, you know, twist on there. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and uh, yeah, I'll go from there. So let's get it. I'm gonna strip these wires first. So for those of you that haven't done any of this electrical stuff, I'm gonna strip these wires off and then twist them up, put them into these quick connects and then do the other side from the top. And we're gonna get this thing wired up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read what it says to do on here before we do it. The max fan must be fully opened prior to the proceeding of step three. Turn the knob to raise the vent lid. On the non-remote control models, which we have, the model knob must be pulled out to unlock before turning. So before we get up on the camper, I'm gonna go ahead and open it first and then get up on the camper and hook up the wires. Before we screw this thing down and seal it and all of that stuff, I'm gonna plug it up dry fit it in here and then turn it on, turn the power on and make sure it works. Um, that way if I plug it up wrong, I'm probably gonna blow some fuses. But um, you know, hey, before we set everything in and screw everything in, I wanna make sure it at least turn on um, before I do that because um, it'll be easier to take off and fix. Whereas if I put everything on and everything's sealed and that's why we haven't put the lap sealant on yet is because I didn't want it to be up here and sticky um, before you know we get everything done so all right so let's get these wired in and i'll go back to the inside and let you see how i do that i'm gonna go ahead and flip uh flip the fan over and you'll see me just kind of drop it put it in here I'm not gonna screw anything down. We really just wanna test it right now. So let's see here. This is the back. Let's see if we blow up something. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna see if it works. Hopefully it will. So this model has the on off button here um, then you have the fan on off of course you have four different speeds and then you got your lock so i have this locked open uh, we have the power on so let's see all right i'm listening i don't hear anything blowing up <laughs> so i think we're good okay all right now i'm not going to fully test it right now i really just wanted to make sure that it came on and uh, nothing else happened. So let's go ahead and finish this wire. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna kill the power again and go on to the next step. Hey, quick note. So um, when we got ready to, to go ahead and move on to the next step, we noticed that, the, um, that the, the connectors, you know, I was like, well, how can I maybe put this in here? So I was gonna just push the connectors all the way into the, uh, into the camper. So, um, and then once I started doing that, it kind of got stuck a little bit so i'm like okay cool let me pull it back out and then when i did it just popped off so i was like oh okay so what i'm gonna do now is as a next step is i'm gonna actually go ahead and put some electrical tape on this which i should have did it before just to try to secure those things on there to make sure that they don't just slide off um while we're driving or while we're sitting down and then we're wondering why in the world our uh stuff doesn't work so um yeah, so that's the next step. After completing this unforeseen step on the inside, now was the time to actually go in and put the last four screws in on the fan. One thing that you don't see here is that the clips that we kept talking about that had to be facing outward actually did not line up with the screw holes. So I went back in and actually took a screwdriver and had to adjust those holes. But once I did, we just tightened those up all the way around. There's four screws and everything was secure. Now back inside of the camper was the time to go in and measure so we could cut that decorative piece to fit perfectly. I couldn't fit my tape measure up in there so I just took this pencil, stuck it up in there, took a marker, marked that thing off and then I used that to mark the uh, decorative piece so that way I can cut it. After marking the decorative flange piece, now was the time to cut it. If you don't have an oscillating multi-tool, please get one. This thing cut it like butter. After the flange was cut and all the wires were tucked in, I took the screws that came with it, started screwing those in to secure it. Did y'all see that pump out like that? 
that's not supposed to happen. Well, that's the face of a guy that just realized we got a problem. I completely forgot that we had to use the self-tapping screws at the top. No big deal, I just drilled out the holes. After that, easy selling. We chose to put the self-leveling ceiling on last just so we could play around and not really worry about getting dirty. It really was worth it. So as you can see here, we layered it on really thick, went all the way around a little bit at a time and got it done. Reading the direction, looking at videos, all of that stuff sounds great. But until you actually get in there and do it, you never really know how it's gonna turn out. We really hope that this video inspires someone to jump in there and do something that they may not be comfortable doing, but it really may save them a lot of money. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button, ring the bell. Also, follow us on Instagram. We'll keep seeing the world with you in full color. See you later.